What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. So in the last video where we left off, essentially we helped out Ranger Andy, which lives in that bungalow right in there. And uh, we he basically told us to go and check up on some NCR base that's over there, but essentially what happened is that they got overrun by the Legion. And long story short, they were absolutely obliterated off the face of the earth. So there's that. Um... In this one, we basically had talked, uh, well, also in the last video, we ended up talking to some lady that lives inside, or that works in there. She told us to visit this big, giant dinosaur to talk to an individual who supposedly uh, works in the mouth of the dinosaur, who is a sniper, and he provides essentially security for this place. Um, I'm also playing on mouse and keyboard right now. Uh, I don't know, I just kind of felt like doing that. Is it going to work? Don't know. We'll find out here in this video. So... Uh, well, I mean, of course it's gonna work, but, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be good for me, but we'll see. So, with that being said, enough yapping for me. Do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video if you're excited, uh, for this one. And also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, let's get on with this video. Alright, uh, door to Cliff Briscoe's. I think that's the, the proprietor of this building right here. I mean, I could be wrong, but, yeah, that's, How yep. How you doing? Right, let's Welcome talk to, him. to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Um, what Jeannie sent me? Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. <laughs> well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine. And my friends get a discount at my store. Uh, what is it that you sell here, exactly? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Uh, what about supplies and guns? Do you sell any of those? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Aw. Well, tell me more about those souvenir rockets, then. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. <laughs> the papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. Uh, sounds pretty tough. Um, how'd they end up here exactly? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. All right, well, I'd like to see what you have, uh, if you don't mind. Sure All right. thing. Have a look. Let's see. I only have like 881 caps, so I don't have much to spend. Um... Looks like he has a lot of, uh, random stuff. I know he sells a unique weapon. I can't remember what it is, though. You know, I'm gonna buy these three doctor's bags. Um, just because I can. <laughs> well, no, I'm gonna need doctor's bags later. I just don't remember how much I need. If I remember correctly, I think it's five. But, yeah. Uh, grenade rifle, incinerator, a katana. Uh, laser rifle focus sights. Fuck, dude, I should probably buy this, huh? Because I do have a laser rifle. I don't think... Here, I'll come back to that. I don't think the one I have is the Gunrunner's Arsenal, though. So we shall see. Pacencia! Plasma pistol mag accelerator. I could definitely use that, too. Fuck, dude, this guy has a lot of good stuff that I could use. Mmm... La Fantoma. I thought he had... Whoops, too far. Uh, weapons. I thought he had, uh, that... That, that gun is what it's called. That gun. Um... I mean, unless... There it is. That gun. It's a ballistic weapon, though. Um, it will never come in handy for me, but... So the laser pistol... Yeah, see, it's not a gunrunner's arsenal. So that sucks. Uh, the plasma pistol, however, is a gunrunner's arsenal. So I could probably buy... The mod for that. Wait, uh. 
Is it under miscellaneous? Plasma pistol. All right. Yep. Let's go ahead and do that. Accept. And let's get at. Whoops. Oh, exit. Exit. Sorry, I gotta get used to the Come keyboard and mouse buttons. Let's see if we can actually upgrade our plasma pistol. So X to mod. There we go. Wait, hold on. Let's look at it real quick. Um, yep. It's got the mod on there. Hell yes. Does it change? Uh, how do I change views? I don't even remember. I don't know. Screw it. Hold on. No, that's the sneak. No. Alright, I give up. <laughs> Alright, who's up here? Manny Vargas. What's going on, man? What's up? Who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's boom. Uh, do you protect the town or something? And if so, from who? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Uh, and who exactly is this Boone fella? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. And why is that? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. So why did you and Boone's wife argue? Like, what did? why did you guys argue? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened and I couldn't handle it anymore. So I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. God damn, dude, this guy is... Not pulling back punches with his words, right? So you were in a gang? Uh, were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. So what was your tour with the NCR like? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe, what's not to like? I would like to add that there's also this... Being a veteran myself, something about having people there that are willing to take a bullet for you and you for them just makes you very, very close. Like, some of the closest people in my life are people I served with and it's a great feeling. Uh, but anyway, so why did you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened. And people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. Um, that's pretty interesting. So what exactly happened at Bitter Springs? Do you know? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. That's crazy. Um, so if you could do me a huge favor, that was a nice chat and all, but I'm looking for an individual with a checkered coat. I don't know if you've seen him. I was told you were talking to him. Could you direct me in the right direction? Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? Um, uh, I have a score to settle. Doesn't surprise me. Guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. 
You need my help. There's something I need, too. And what exactly do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Why don't you deal with it? I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Uh, so what exactly needs to be done? Well, they gotta go. Or this will be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Um, alright, I mean, I suppose I'll see what I can do. It'd mean a lot to me. What was I supposed to do again? He just told yeah, me. See ya. I wanna. All right, let, let's read that one note. Uh, miscellaneous. Oh no, it's under quest, huh? Miscellaneous nighttime sniper. Mandy Vargas mentioned uh, there's another sniper named Boone who works the dinosaur. Who works in the dinosaur uh, mouth at night, and whose wife went missing recently. I kind of want to go talk to him. Let's go talk to him. Wait, can I? Can I wait? Oops. So I think I found, uh... I think I found Vats. <laughs> no, I would get out of here. Alright. Oh god, I don't... No, no. Alright, screw it. I'm going back to... <laughs> no, wait, how do I do this? Control... It should be under controls, right? Gameplay, maybe? No. Back. No, it really should be under controls. I don't know. Oh, it's because my control's not on. Um. Controls. There we go. It should work now because my controller's on. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, continue. Oh, shit. Dude, I... Just got lucky. Alright, good. He's not mad at me. Let's go ahead and sleep. <laughs> that, was, that could have been a disaster. Let's go ahead and sleep till the night time so we can talk to Boone. Yeah, maybe uh, off camera. I'll see what I could do with getting used to the buttons on keyboard and mouse. Because obviously on camera is probably not a... Oh shit, dude. I Waited way too long. Well, at least he's still here. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Uh, are you expecting any visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Damn, chill, bruh. Uh, just wanted to check out the view. I think you better leave. No, just making friendly conversation, bro. I don't have friends here. We can be friends. Uh, well, I'm not really from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. And why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. Wait a minute. You're trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Oh, God. Uh, what do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Um, so you only trust strangers? I said it was a start. This town, nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. So how do you know your wife's dead exactly? I know, alright. That's all you need to know. Sounds terrible. Alright, I'll see what I can do to help you. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. 
We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. Oh, God. All right. Yeah. Later. All right, well, at least now I can... Um... All right, let's go. Get out of my way, Cliff. All right, wait. I should have just asked this guy first, huh? Is he coming out? I guess he's not. Um, who could we talk to first? Here. Well, I guess we'll talk to that genie chick. Genie. Please. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, let me load that. I don't want to... I don't want to get into trouble. Alright, you. Talk to me. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Um... What can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Um, what's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Um. All right. Watch out for strangers. So, I mean, she didn't really provide great information. Let's see if we could talk to somebody in these buildings. Oh, let's talk to Manny. Manny. Do you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm no. counting on you. I haven't went. Chill out, bro. Uh, who would want to hurt? Uh, did you have anything to do with Boone's wife, uh, wife's disappearance? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. So then, if it wasn't you, who would want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. I mean... Manny has a motive to hurt her, like, because they argued before, but... He's being pretty upfront. Yeah, see ya. I I don't believe it would be him. People who who do something bad, they're generally not that truthful, you know what I mean? Let's talk to Ranger Andy. Maybe he knows something. Hey, what's up, bro? Long time no see. What's new? Uh, what's wrong with Boone? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out, but there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. Now I feel you. So what can you tell me about her? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. Aww. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? So her, or his story, or... His Look thing out, was that she was actually a nice girl, but... His story kind of matches with that girl over there, uh, Jeannie, because... They, uh, they both had said that they, that she didn't really want to live here. So, let's talk to her. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. 
Uh, you were a pilot? Vertebrate pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. Oh, okay. What do you do in Novak? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Uh, did you fly for the NCR? Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Huh, if you didn't fly four, you probably flew against, it sounds Watch like. six out there. Yes, ma'am. Hold on, let's talk, let's go into the dinosaur and talk to Cliff. Oh, Cliffy boy. She didn't have any information, unfortunately, about Boone's wife. Oh, Cliff. Come here, boy. Welcome back. Can Hi. I get you anything? Uh, just some information. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Alright, so... Come back soon now. That doesn't really tell me anything either. Just things we already know. That she was a, you know, an asshole. I wonder why she was so bitter. Uh, there was a lady doctor around here somewhere. I'll just talk to these people. I think they're caravanners, though. They won't tell me anything. Yeah, these guys are caravanners. Right? Morning. Uh, Dr. Ada what Stratus. What Um... Nothing. Bye. And I'm assuming these are just mercenaries. Yep. Alright. Let's see in this rinky old shack. No bark. No bark. Alright. Hey, you! Dude, what the hell kind of place is this? No, don't lay down, bro! Come here. We need to talk. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Uh, I, I meant no harm. We'll just see about that. You come any closer and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Old stick is feeling mighty ornery this day. Bro, chill out. Uh, we can talk from this distance. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. I'll speak louder. Uh... You said you'd stab me with that dirty knife? Okay, okay, just speak up a little. But not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. So you're a paranoid person. Got it. Um, why do they call you No Bark? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. I know what I seen. Well, that explains his craziness. Uh, so what do you know about the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought Whoa. he might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you asked me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. So he just said shadowy figures went into the lobby. The only lobby that I've seen so far was where Genie works. Alright, who was it? More rat men. Uh, come okay. up from the underneath <laughs> to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. So what's been going on in this town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock <laughs> vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. 
too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's make it real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this dude said a chupacabra's over here with a freaking automatic weapon. Oh god. So what else do you know about the deaths at the corral? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, <laughs> whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell, anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. <laughs> this dude is so crazy. Uh, anything interesting happening in the area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hui, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. So what do you think is actually at the factory? Ghosts. Kame ghosts, but don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets, so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. What? I seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just <laughs> blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a comic ghost and so forth. This dude is absolutely nuts. If anyone asks, we never spoke. All, all right. So, I'm still kind of interested at that whole thing he was talking about. I mean, people in the middle of the night, shadowy folk, came into the lobby after they went into Boone's house and took her? It's gotta be something around here. Mojave Express drop. No. Give me the aid. Doctor's bag, stim packs. No, thank you. Um. Is this something I could do? No. Maybe in the vending machine? No, just some sunset sarsaparillas. Dude, there's a safe back there. Hey there. What's up? Do I have the ability? Crap, do I have a lock, lock pick thing? Uh, come on. I don't. Does she have anything to sell? I hope you're finding everything. Shut up, lady. You're my prime suspect at this point. What? 25? Where's my skills at right now? Stats, lockpick 20, I just need plus 5, so if I get a locksmith, a locksmith uh, book, or magazine I should say, I should be fine. So, maybe Cliff, Mr. Good Old Cliffy Boy. Welcome back, can I get you anything? Uh, I just want to see what you got for sale. Sure thing, have uh, a look. Come on, have a locksmith book, or magazine, I keep saying book. Boxing times? No, thank you. Come on. Please. Laser rifle beam splitter? That's speech. Plasma pistol recycler. You know what? I should buy this. Um, come on, baby. Damn it. Later. Come back soon. Let's go ahead and mod my plasma pistol then. Plasma pistol, mod, left bumper, recycler. What does this do? Increase, uh, increase speed of plasma projectile. Um, replenishes ammunition.
Alrighty. You know what? Let's go fast travel back to Good Springs. I think Clint or Chet. Clint? What the fuck am I talking about? Chet uh, has one. If not him, then Trudy probably has one. Howdy. Howdy. You looking to buy some supplies? I am, as a matter Indeed. of fact. Come on, please have a locksmith book. I keep saying book, magazine. Damn it. Um. Uh, I don't think he's got one. Fuck. Is my pistol a gunrunner's arsenal? I don't know. I'll check. Um, so I already have both of these mods. I don't know if those are the only two mods for this. Salesman, no. Damn it. Alright, let's see. Uh, do I even have a laser pistol? I don't have a laser pistol. Interesting. Take it easy now. All right, let's go. Let's talk to good old Trudy. Man, I hope she has one. If not, I'm stuck. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Oh, uh, what do you have for sale? Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Oh, well, thank you. Come on, baby. Fixing things? No, that's repair. Oh God. No, Monica! Crap. Be careful out there. I shouldn't have sold. Wait. That'd be funny if I have one. Let's double check. No, I don't. Um. Permis did I get it from sticking her? Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I don't get Um. I'm pretty confident I did, damn it. So where else can I go? Let's see here. Map. Good Spring Source. Prim. Oh, you know what? The Outpost has a store. Maybe I should be able to... Uh, or maybe I'll be able to buy one from the dude over there at the bar. Or uh, technically it's a chick, but still. And maybe maybe that one major guy sells things. I don't know. Hey. Just shut up. You need to be up there freaking helping out with Overwatch. I don't know why you're down here, You've Ghost. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. You should scare the shit There's out of me. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Oh, well, that's cool. Excuse me. Get out of my way, lady. Background? Just my luck. What'll it be this time? Uh, I just want to see your wares. Take a look. Please, come on, please. Um. Crap, I don't think she's got one. I mean, she has a laser pistol as well. Plasma Defender? I don't have a Plasma Defender. Um, no, fuck. Alright, well, let's see what I can sell. 22 LR, uh, LR, sure. 357 Magnum Round, sure. 10 millimeter. Sure. Dude, she has a lot of money. 20 gauge. Sure. 5.56. Five, sure. I'm literally selling all my ammo. I don't need my ammo. That's worth nothing to her. Um. Empty syringe. Oh. Nope. Not trying to sell all that. 
Um, nope. I'll sell you all of these. I mean, realistically, I already have enough, but... No. NCR Mantle Armor. I think we're pretty much good. You know what? You can have both of these Stealth Boys. Probably never going to use those. Super Stimpak? Sure, why not? Um... All right. We'll call that. Now let's buy that one uh, laser pistol. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's under ammo. So, all right. Let's see. Uh, plasma. I mean, not plasma. A uh, laser pistol, right? Yep, laser pistol. There we go. Fine, man. All right. Let's go ahead and use it to oh it already has uh, combat sights wait what I already had it fuck I didn't have a laser rifle crap alright well I suppose I suppose I'll nah I'll keep it for now that sucks Um, fuck, dude, I'm screwed then. Hey. Go to work, ghost. She's the laziest NCR person in the world. I hope this guy sells me something. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates it. Uh, thank you? Um, damn it, he doesn't have anything. I need repairs. All right, then. Just sign here, here, and here. Oh, this dude's repair skill is at 100. No. Let's see here. I mean, realistically, I don't need any of this. Nah, I'm good. Let's go. Sir. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that I'm pretty screwed. Because there is no other place that has stores. Helios 1, Camp for Lone Hope, Abandoned Brotherhood thing, Crimson Caravan, Gun Runners. Ranger Station Charlie? Wait, which one was this? I don't remember this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's where everyone died, essentially. Nipton's dead. Good Spring Cemetery. Nope. Alright, let's go back to Novak then. Let's go around and search every mailbox. Hopefully, we can get lucky. And find a lockpick magazine. Oh, I need a shovel. Any shovels around here? No. Alright, well let's, uh... Okay, there's a mailbox right here. I think I already searched this one, though. This one has nothing. Is there one in front of, uh... Old Boy Shack? Nope. Wait a minute. If I remember correctly, this lady is a vendor. I'm fairly confident that she's a vendor. Come on. Lady Gibson. Hi. Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got <laughs> odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. 
Oh, uh, well, uh, show me what you have for sale. Happy to do it. Come on, lady, please have what I want. Laser rifle fiber optics? I don't have enough for this anyways. No, Monica! Crap, she doesn't have anything. Uh, later. Take care now. I'm on a mission, sorry. Um... All right, let's go. We have to search through all of the mailboxes. Hopefully we'll find what we're looking for. But as of now, I think we're pretty screwed. Wait a minute. I could always try to pickpocket her. Maybe she has a key. Yeah, let's go ahead and try that. I hope I could do that. <laughs> but I'm pretty confident I can, though. Alright, come on. Hold up. Oh my god, I was right. It worked! Turn around, please. Bill of sale? Bill of sale? This isn't what I think it is, is it? Uh, we, the representatives of the cons console, oh, sure, why not, have this day bargained and purchased from Jeannie May Crawford of the township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone all oh, that fucking asshole for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps the receipt there uh, whereof is hereby acknowledged warrant the slave and her young to be sound healthy uh, and slaves for his life. Slaves for life. We co uh, covenant uh, with the said Jeannie Mae Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment of the additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful. Uh, oh my god. Oh. This is absolutely sickening. What what time is it? All right, we're waiting till midnight so that Boone can take care of business. He said to bring her to the front. Wait, hey where's she? You come here. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um. Uh, come with me. There's actually something I really need you to see that's in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. Come on. I think you're gonna like it. It's a real doozy. I think you're gonna love it. I really do. Come on, baby. All right. I hope Boone is up there. Alright, let's go ahead. He said put on his hat, right? What is it called? Boone's hat or some shit? Did he not give it to me? Boone's beret. Um... Um. Hello? Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, she got destroyed! Holy fuck! Return to Boone. Don't worry, I'm on my way. What does Boone's hat do? Absolutely nothing. Alright, come on. Let's go talk to Boone. I think Boone 
I mean, there's no way in hell he's gonna be happy after his wife got fucking sold into slavery. But, she's sold into slavery, which means she's probably alive? But he was pretty sure that she was dead, though. So, there's also that. Boon. That's it, then. How did you know? Well, I, I mean, I found this bull, uh, the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. Uh, what will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. I mean, you can always come with me. We, we can go after the Legion together. You don't want to do that. And I thought snipers worked in teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Hell yeah. Let's get out of here. Wait, 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 really quick. Are you an outlaw now? Um, Be aggressive. Talk to. What is it? Um, are you an outlaw now? No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. <laughs> uh, were you at Bitter Springs with the first recon? I was in a lot of places with first recon. I don't really remember. That's a... That's a little... Alright. Sounds like he was there. Uh, you must have been at Bitter Springs. What happened there? A part of my life's over now. And so is this discussion. Chill out, bro. You can trust me. Um, how do you feel about Manny Vargas? He was a good spotter. He's very... Straight to the point, I guess. Uh, weren't you also friends? Yeah. We were. Not anymore? No. Um, I have another question. Sure. What outfit did, uh, did you serve in the military with? First NCR recon. It's a sniper battalion. Sees a lot of action. They moved us around a lot. I was stationed at Camp Golf for a while. Last I heard, they're at Camp McCarran. So, how did you happen to join First Recon? They pick you out if you do well at the firing range pays a little better so I said okay is that the first recon beret yeah you can tell by the patch bear skull with crossed rifles behind it slogan underneath what's the slogan the last thing you never see pretty accurate and so are we that's a pretty badass slogan uh tell me about Cat McCarran was an airport before the war command liked it because it was already fortified and it let them keep an eye on the strip they've got an old monorail that still runs between them used mostly for supplies and deployment but if you get leave you're allowed to go gamble it was general oliver's post but i heard he's been up at the dam a lot lately guessing colonel shu is running it so what do you think of general oliver didn't know him he's a signature on my discharge papers wasn't real popular, though. Even overheard my CO complain about him once. General Wait and See, he called him. <laughs> Do you know uh, Colonel Shu at all? Yeah. He introduced himself to me once. I shook his hand. Doubt he remembered me now, though. When he looked at you, you could see he understood. After some of the things we'd seen, that meant something. But I heard he'd be a general right now if Oliver didn't know the president. Damn. So, what is this about the dam? The big one. The one the NCR is trying to hold on to, that the Legion's pushing for. Whole war depends on holding it. Uh, what was Camp Golf like? It was on the front line for a while. Only resort in New Vegas no one wanted to get sent to. Doesn't have that kind of importance anymore, though. They pulled most of the troops out of there after we took the Hoover Dam. Um, well, let's talk about something else. All right. Um, what is it that you were telling me about your wife? You got no right asking me that. Drop it. Aw. I just want to understand you better, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You don't know what you're asking. Just 
Let it go for now. So the legions, the only thing I want on my mind right now. So later we can talk about it. Tracking. Um. Let's talk about your tactics. You want to do something different? Uh. Let's change your combat. Do you think it'll help? So, I want you not to attack enemies. Actually, you know what? Just use ranged. Yeah, you and me both. All right, let's all. Right behind you. Hell yeah. All right, let's go downstairs. Wait a minute, why am I so heavy? Did he give me something? Um, I already had all of that. Wait, first recon beret plus one perception. Absolutely, bro. Um, did he give? Did he give me something? Why am I so heavy? Do 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 do. I'm legitimately not sure. What's my carry weight? Uh, 240... Oh, no, wait, that's 201. I'm only heavy by one. And the weight to this is one. So chances are... Uh, I should be able to run now. All right, let's go. But... In the next video, we are definitely going to be doing, uh, this one. Because Manny won't tell me what is going on over there. Actually, let's put on... Eh, who cares. Alright, but we're definitely going to call it a video right now. In the next video, we're definitely going to go to the Repcon building and find out what exactly is going on over there. But for now, we've basically ran out of time. At least we got to help Boone out a little bit. And we got our first companion, so there's that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Deuces.